Hello, my artist, Miss Q here. We are going to draw a cute panda today for Valentine's Day or for whenever. I'm going to add some hearts to my picture. You don't have to do that, that's up to you. If you wanna leave it a panda or add a background, that foreground, middle ground, background to your panda picture, you can switch it up, okay? Get creative with it, let this inspire you. All right, so I'm gonna start with my piece of paper, which I will use the whiteboard today. And I've drawn some lines to show you my paper. You don't have to draw this. Don't draw the outline. This is my pretend paper, okay? So I wanna start with a big, kind of a circle, right? I'm using my dry erase marker. If you have a pencil, remember that's always best. Okay, let's draw. Big circle. Let me make sure we can see. Right now, let's add those little panda ears. And I will start over here. And I'll just make a little oval shape. On this side, I want to make that shape a little bigger, okay? And if you're using black, or if you're just using a pencil and you don't have any colors at home or with you, you can go ahead and fill in this area now. All right. Remember, these are organic shapes. If you're drawing an animal, uh, anything out made from nature, Right? People are organic shapes too. So it doesn't have to be a perfect circle or a perfect shape, as in geometric, a perfect circle, perfect square. It's okay for this to look different. All our pandas in the wild, they look a little different, okay? On this side of my circle, I'm going to create an oval shape that will be those spots around his eyes. So I'll go ahead and add it maybe a little lower, but really big really big oval on the other side we're going to draw an oval but this one's going to be a little larger just like this ear because my panda is kind of on its side okay if you look at my face if I'm kind of looking this way you don't see as much as this eye as you do this one Right? Because of my nose. Right? If I looked straight ahead, you'll see both eyes the same. Okay, but I'm going to look this way a little bit so it's shorter. I don't see all of that. That's my perspective looking at it, okay? Let's add, make it oop, a little bigger. Kind of like a little egg shape. Kind of like a little, little oval, little egg. Okay, let's add, boop, 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 little nose. Okay, little line first. And we'll just fill that right in. Okay, so for these eyes, we know we have black spots around a panda's dark eyes. So we want to leave some areas white, just so you know where our eye starts and where it ends, okay? The out contour, outside line of that eye, okay? So we want to know where the spots are, where the eyes is. So we're going to leave a little area white. You can do that. If you make your eye really small, really big, you can have it any size you want. Remember, this is your panda. If you want this a little more realistic, we would have smaller eyes, like this. Right? Our eyes would be smaller for a more, a more realistic panda. If you want a more cartoon panda, you can make them really big to look maybe like he's a little baby. Baby animals and people, our eyes are really big. Makes them look so cute. So on this side, I'll go ahead and do a, a little baby. I'm going to draw really big oval shape on this side and you can see I have some extra lines here and that's okay I'm gonna leave that 
So let's do the same thing over here, but remember this shape is a little different. So I'll see more of this eye. Okay. So remember if you use little short lines as you draw, you let your mind and your hand catch up, okay? I can see with my eye and make those adjustments with my hand as I draw. Right? That's your hand-eye coordination. Just like in sports, we need that in drawing. Right, so let's make those little areas where I will leave a bit of white. So right under my eye, I'm going to draw a little curved line. And at the top, let's put a little circle and also another little area. Let me fill this in so you can see. I wanna leave, I wanna leave the top a little bit of white showing between the eye and the fur that's dark so we can see, so we can see a little bit of the eye coming through. Right, because I am also going to fill this area in black. The eye is really dark. And if you have different colors, you don't have to make the eyes black. But we can see just some little areas here at the top where we know where the outside of that eye is. So I know this eye is really big. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Right, we're going to leave a little area white. Go ahead and draw those in before you start coloring the areas you want to leave white. Okay, and that really helps give yourself some guidelines. Artists do this when we draw, when you're doing well, any drawing, even before painting, start with the drawing. Just to give ourselves these little guidelines. left these areas white. It's really important so we can see how large these adorable eyes are. It's looking really, really cute. We can add a little mouth. Now remember, we can adjust this any way we want. I can put some little lines here, a little bear mouth. Okay, I could put, let me erase it, show you some options. We can have a little mouth there. That one little curved line can really change the whole expression. If I have it like this, now he's sad. I don't want that though. Let's make, I'm gonna leave mine like this. Oops. Okay, now let's give him a little body. You could leave it like this. I wanna give my panda, my little baby panda, a little body. Right, we have a curved line here. We'll go away. Uh oh. Go ahead. Curve this up. This is his front little arm. I'll go ahead and fill this in. And you know, I'm using black. In the wild in southwest China, pandas are black and white. Even pandas you see at the zoo. Unless we're talking about the red panda. This is a regular panda bear. But if you want to use a different color, you don't have to make him black and white. He could be red and green. He could have blue spots but still be white. It's up to you, okay? Get creative, guys. Right? So let's go ahead and add that next arm. And I want to go the same way, right about there. All right, so it's right with mine. And fill that shape in. Oops. And I'm going to fill in this, uh, this in, so I'm not worried about those lines. Go ahead and fill it in. And 
if you wanted to, instead of leaving it really solid, show that line work, you can give it that texture of looking really fuzzy, okay? So let's keep going. And we'll start up here. The diagonal line. My panda's sitting down. So I have a little diagonal line. I'm kind of even with the bottom of his face. We're gonna just curve this around because he's, boop, having a seat. He's sitting down. On this side, boop, another little curve. But we still wanna add those back legs, okay? He kinda looks like a mermaid panda right now. Let's give him a back leg. So I'll just, boop, add that little leg there. Building. This little panda. Okay. He has a stripe that goes from his arms. There's a black uh, hair that curves all the way around to the back. So let's go ahead and put that in here. We'll draw kind of a curved line. Okay. I can curve it this way. I can curve it that way. Either way is okay. Even if it's a straight line, that's okay. I'll leave a little bit of a space between the arm and the stripe. And I might add some little hairs coming out. Boop, boop. My little fuzzy panda. You can add some little bit of texture here. So now I have an adorable panda, but what should I do with the background? Right now he's just floating in the air. What should we do? I can add a horizon line. I'm gonna show you a few options, okay? We can add a horizon line to give him a foreground, middle ground, and a background, right? Remember this powerful line instantly gives you a ground and a sky. So if you're ever really not sure what to do with the background and you've drawn something, you can always give it a horizon line, all right? Instantly you have ground, sky, we can just add color to this, it's up to you. Maybe you wanna draw bamboo shoots, those bamboo trees. Okay, if I did that, oh, maybe I add a horizon line up here and we have bamboo coming out. Right, and those are organic shapes. They call it shoots because they grow in sections straight up out of the ground, these trees, that's what our pandas like to eat. They like to eat those bamboo shoots. We could put some in here. Maybe there's some this way, growing at an angle. Boop, boop. Some lines in them. Some, can add some lines for me, some more. Branches here, adding whatever we want to that background. You know, I like putting things in space. Our panda can be on a different planet floating around, creating that space, that distance in our artwork with the planets. You can do anything, you get creative, okay? If I wanna make this a Valentine, I could add something like, I love you. Berry, like a bear, like a panda bear. I love you very much. Okay, you don't have to do this. You might not want to add that and give it to your mom or dad, your grandparent, your friend for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is about celebrating love. Okay? You might love your friends. I can add now things in the background. I can add color to this, that very powerful element of art, that color, right? We have shapes, we have lines, we have space here because of that horizon line. It's behind our panda, right? So we know he's in front, he's closer to us. And our bamboo is in the middle ground, okay? I still have a background here. I could add color. I might add some curvy lines, maybe for clouds. Okay, boop, boop, boop. It's cloudy, that's up to you. You can have more. 
even more details in this. Boop, 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 boop. All right, we could add, I could add a border of just hearts all around if I wanted to make it more of a Valentine. That's up to you guys. Hey, my artists. I hope that you had fun. Remember, if you're drawing an animal that's an organic shape, if I left off our spots and our stripes here, he could be any kind of bear, okay? I could even add pointier ears and a tail and kind of turn him into a cat. I get creative. You can always follow these videos and start out with what I'm making, but if you get an idea and get inspired, go with that, okay? That's what artists do. Okay, my artists, I will see you soon in person or on Zoom. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you enjoyed making this adorable baby panda. For now, goodbye.